In an increasingly digital world, privacy and security becomes more and more important. The last thing you want is your identity or wallet address to be stolen. If privacy is paramount to you, I can think of no better blockchain than Darrow. The philosophy behind the project and its attributes for security are unparalleled. Stay tuned for today's episode where I will break down what makes Darrow so special. My name is Crypto Andy, and it's my privilege to discuss Darrow with you. That being said, what is covered in this episode is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Darrow is a layer one proof of work privacy blockchain. It's main at launch on April 30th, 2018. Darrow is based on DAG and CryptoNote protocol. It's a new experimental blockchain technology written in Golong with a focus on enhanced privacy and smart contracts while maintaining the security of the blockchain. What makes Darrow special is its commitment to security and privacy above all else. Darrow is the first blockchain to have complete secure socket layer in the peer to peer layer. The Darrow development team has implemented complete transportation layer security across the Darrow network, which is a first on any blockchain. This encrypts the entirety of the network traffic, which greatly reduces the attack surface while simultaneously preventing internet service providers or others from analyzing Darrow network traffic. What all this means is that Darrow is locked all the way down. The Darrow platform includes Darrow Staking, Darrow Swap, a decentralized exchange, Darrow Gold, a sidechain designed for dApps and smart contracts. There is a Darrow Virtual Machine, Darrow Atomic Swaps, and much more. Now that we have covered some of Darrow, let's talk about its tokenomics. To start with, the Darrow token is used to pay for transactions on the Darrow platform. For example, sending and receiving payments. The max supply of Darrow is set at 21 million like Bitcoin. The circulating supply is 12,677,000 plus dollars. The market cap for Darrow on January 12, 2023 is 51,657,000. The total supply is 18,400,000. Normally at this point, I will talk about the ICO and initial token distribution. However, I was not able to find this information on Darrow. It makes sense that the token holders are secret. After all, it's a privacy coin. So I am going to assume that most of the Darrow is held in small hands, mostly held by the development team, founders, and initial investors. Also, I will note that the majority of the token has already been mined with only 2,600,000 Darrow tokens left out there for the miners which is not ideal for decentralization. However, with the security as paramount, that choice is often made. If you're familiar with the blockchain trilemma, you can have only two qualities out of a choice of three. Those choices being security, scalability, or decentralization. Darrow's all-time high came on October 10th, 2021 at a price of $27.29. The all-time low was 24 cents on March 13, 2020. The main exchanges where you can purchase Darrow are KuCoin and TradeOver. If you want to see more information on the world's largest exchange, I have made a video on that topic, which you can watch by clicking the box above. Now that we understand more about the tokenomics, let's talk about Darrow's competition and how it ranks among other privacy coins. I'm mainly getting my rank list by going to Live Coin Watch, selecting categories and clicking on privacy. The biggest name in the privacy, of course, is Monero. They have a market capitalization of $3 billion plus dollars and a current price of $168.16 as of the making of this video. Monero is not a layer one platform like Dero. It's an exchange token that has encrypts transactions and makes them untraceable, where everyone is anonymous by default. So Dero is not comparable and can offer more than Monero because it's a platform. There are other similar coins like Monero, such as Zcash, Dash, Decred, all of these coins offer add-ons that Monero doesn't, and most of them are forks of Bitcoin with privacy or governance implications. That being said, those coins are less for Monero, and Monero controls the macro environment for privacy coins. There's another project called Oasis Network with its ROSE token. Oasis Network is a privacy-enabled blockchain platform with a focus on tokenization of confidential data to enable private smart contracts using Oasis paradigm scaling architectures. They sell themselves as a privacy layer for Web3. You can add privacy to dApps, it's EVM compatible and simple to integrate. The market cap for Oasis Network is 233 million plus dollars, more than four times the market cap of Darrow. However, Oasis Network is a privacy layer whereas Darrow is a privacy platform. It's not an extension that adds security. The other privacy coin I would like to mention is Flux. 
They saw themselves as decentralized computing services and blockchain as a service solution. The Flux ecosystem has Flux nodes, Flux OS, a cloud operating system, which I thought were compromised security and is a form of centralization, and Zellcore, a multi-asset wallet. The other interesting part of Flux is that they do parallel assets that provide interoperability with other blockchains. What that means is you can trade crypto pairs, Flux BTC, Flux ETH, that interoperability could have a good networking effect for Flux and expand its ecosystem. However, interoperability also compromises security. The market cap for Flux is $150 million plus dollars and its current price is 52 cents. There were other projects out there like Secret Network, New Cypher, and Keep Network. All of them are quite similar to Oasis and Flux with variations on technology. What was clear to me is that Darrow is the most private and secure of the privacy coins due to its SSL and P2P layer default security, which means that Darrow does not give up its metadata to internet service providers, and that is a unique value proposition. Now that we have covered what's out there in the privacy market for blockchains, let's take a look at Darrow's technology and latest update. Darrow Stargate is a new blockchain protocol developed by the Darrow project that aims to improve scalability, privacy, and interoperability of the Darrow blockchain. The Darrow Stargate is an enhanced version of Darrow Atlantis with several new features and improvements. One of the main features of the Darrow Stargate is the addition of a new layer called the Stargate layer, which allows for faster and more efficient transaction processing. This layer uses a consensus algorithm called Crypto Night Lite version 2, which is based on proof of work algorithm and is designed to be more energy efficient than previous versions. Darrow Stargate also includes a new feature called Gateway Nodes, which allows for interoperability between different blockchain networks. This means that it allows for cross-chain transactions and enables the transfer of assets between different blockchains. Currently running from November 1st, 2022 to May 1st, 2023, Darrow introduced a decentralized architecture competition series, Darch, a feature of the Darrow blockchain that seeks to promote ecosystem growth. There are 10,000 Darrow prize pool winners of each round receiving exclusive Darch NFA trophies. Round one with a duration of three months had its category, games, private competition systems, NFA set, futures, visual scripting, customizable VBS service, hardware wallets, and open source nodes. There will be eight prizes with an amount of 750 Darrow. Round two has a duration of two months. Its categories include esports, DeFi education, and development tools, hardware, and LOT, with four prizes with an amount of 750 Darrow. Round three has a duration of one month. It includes all categories and has a private amount of 1,000 Darrow for the winner. This competition will surely help grow the ecosystem. A future 100x project may come out of this competition and it could be a hunting ground for a new crypto allocation. At this point, I would like to give you my thoughts on Darrow and how you can allocate it into your portfolio with your eyes wide open. With the emergence of CBDCs, there's a higher need for privacy in digital assets. Darrow may benefit from this when it, there's a harsh law implemented for the use of CBCs, like you are not allowed to save CBCs, you have to spend it by a certain time frame, you have to spend it in a certain geographical area. Darrow can help protect you if that day ever comes, and it may come the way things are going. Major changes are happening monetarily in terms of the medium of exchange and the rise of other currencies to challenge the dollar for dominance. That topic is beyond the scope of this video. However, I recommend guys like Hugh Henry and Jeff Snyder from Your Dollar University if you are interested in this topic. The problem with privacy coins is that they are often blacklisted and taken off exchanges. They may see the harshest of regulations because they can't be tracked. This may result in a loss of market capitalization and lowering of the price of the coin. However, you have a right to privacy and security, which makes the Darrow appealing. You must decide for yourself how important that really is to you. If you have made it to the end, I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to let me know what information you want me to cover in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, my friends.